Players with extraordinary talent are here in Mobile for the Senior Bowl, and for many of them, it took extraordinary measures for them to make it to this level as well. Fox News reporter Carrie Chow is joining us live from Senior Bowl headquarters. Carrie, you spoke with one of those players. That's exactly right, Lanise. We're talking about Cincinnati wide receiver uh, Marty Gilliard. Now, I first met Gilliard when he got off the plane at Mobile Regional Airport. He was smiling, just saying he was blessed to be here. Now, what I didn't realize at the time was his path to get to Mobile. Cincinnati wide receiver Marty Gilliard is a first-team All-American. He leaves the Bearcats as the school's all-time leader in receptions, receiving yards, receiving touchdowns, all-purpose yards, kickoff returns, and kickoff returns for touchdowns. He's been projected by many pundits as a first-round draft pick. It's been a long, long, long journey, man. I mean, it's just been stupid long, you know. It seems like it's been an eternity, you know. Um, but I'm blessed, man. You know, I'm, I'm always saying that, you know, I really, truly mean that. Like, I'm really blessed uh, because just two years ago, I didn't thought I was going to even play football, you feel me? Gilliard didn't think he'd play football again because in the fall of 2006, former Cincinnati coach Mark D'Antonio revoked his scholarship because of bad grades. Being a knucklehead, man, I didn't go to class, you know, so uh, I got my scholarship took and then uh, I had to take leave from the team. Um, I had to pay a bill off, uh, was homeless for a little bit. Homeless. Without a scholarship, Gilliard suddenly owed the school nearly $10,000 and was evicted from his apartment. Living in the car for six months, um, like I said, man, I didn't even think I was going to play football. Football became the least of Gilliard's worries. For the next six months, he changed his life's route, working three jobs while crashing at friends' apartments and even finding time to feed the homeless or fellow homeless. That's when he started thinking about football again. I mean, I just kept praying to God. I was like, man, Lord, if you give me football back, man, I'm going to do good with it. You know what I mean? Um, and then I also was praying, like, whatever you have in your plan for me, you know, it's for me. You know, um, if it's football, it's football. But if it's not, I'm mad enough to accept what it is. Then the blessings began. The Bearcats hired a new coach, Brian Kelly, who told Gilliard he could have his scholarship back once he repaid the school. Soon after, Gilliard gave the school $7,000 in cash. It was a long journey, you know. I'm happy that uh, we had what we had right now. It's just so real. It's like I'm on cloud nine. The 23-year-old... You yeah, know, um, one of Gilliard's teammates, Tony Pike, is also here in Mobile. I had a chance to talk with him about his teammate and his teammates' past earlier today. He's an amazing story. I mean, you guys know the stories, you know, living in his car, the problems with school, and, and to see what he's become and how much he's overcome where he could have just cashed it in and, and went back to Florida and said that's it, where, you know, he came back and, and you know, one of the best receivers in the country. Now, Gilliard uh, grew up in a family of 10 siblings. He's the youngest of all of them. And he talked to me about how close he was with his mom. And this shows his sense of humor. He calls his mom his sugar wooga booga. Lenise, that's sugar wooga booga, in case you missed that. <laughs> Quite the nickname, Carrie. Thank you so much <laughs> for that report.